The Dorothy Hodgkin Fellowship Scheme is a five-year fellowship for outstanding scientists at an early stage of their research career, who due to personal circumstances require a flexible working pattern. Ellen McCormack received a fellowship in 2015 for her work on applying spectroscopic techniques to measure electric fields in the atmosphere. It's important to be able to understand um, very many processes in our atmosphere and um, one of the examples is for us to be able um, to predict, for instance, weather patterns. So in this lab um, I'm looking at building uh, instrument in order to detect um, electrification in our atmosphere. So when uh, molecules um, absorb light they have a very specific spectroscopic signature and then if um, these molecules then interact with an electric field this signature will change and it's this change that we're interested in and if we can then detect this change then we're able to tell what the electric field is around those molecules so in that specific area of the atmosphere. I'm uh, looking at detecting uh, these small changes in our atmosphere by looking at the way that these molecules absorb light in the solar spectrum. So look, using um, the sun as our radiative source, the solar tracker essentially just follows the sun and then I'm able to then um, detect this radiation and by using a very high resolution spectrometer I can then look at the, the molecules and the absorptions um, that, that that are present in the, in the atmosphere. These changes that I've talked about are very small and so it's very important for me to be able to use an instrument that has the, um, the required sensitivity to be able to see these changes. So I'm working on methods to increase um, the detection sensitivity, um, specifically in, by using interferometry. It's great that I've got um, this, uh, the, the five years of funding. You don't really have to um, think about any short-term aspects of the project to some extent, and you can really think about the bigger picture and, and get excited about creating something new. I was actually just going for a walk around um, site, and I was, I was thinking this can only be possible under very certain circumstances, and, and again, and with only specific molecules. And then it occurred to me that actually these these specific types of circumstances actually do happen in our atmosphere, and and I and I just thought, oh, actually that that that's actually going to work, and it's quite a good idea. And so I was very lucky, I was able to research this idea um, for half a year under um, some money from STFC. And it was the results of these, these, um, th this research that went into my fellowship. So that's why I applied for the fellowship. So I actually started straight after my maternity leave. So I was able to start part time on three days a week. And that suited me actually really, really very well. And now I've moved up to um, four days, but it's very reassuring to know that at any point if I want to go to more days or, or, or fewer days, that it's possible for me to do so. Coming back from maternity leave, it's initially quite scary to come back to research um, after you know, a whole year off. So having, having the support of, um, of the fellowship and the Royal Society, in fact, um, to be able to do the research and to be able to um, change my working hours um, was, was invaluable. At some point, I'm hoping that, that I'll have my own group and, and obviously have my own research agenda. And so I, I do very much feel that this is um, the springboard to, um, to becoming an independent researcher. I've been really impressed by the um, support that the Royal Society um, gives us, the research fellows. So in addition to all the structured courses that they run, um, I've also been invited to, um, to meetings and to debates, which have been a, a real eye-opener. Yeah, I'm really, really grateful for this opportunity. I really am. If I didn't have the fellowship, I wouldn't be doing the science that I'm doing now. Full stop.